when I was on my way home from Nepal, I was flying back into the UK. I made a promise to myself. I was looking out the window and I could see the UK below me. I could see the street lights, I could see the towns, I could see the cities. And I felt a lovely gratitude for this country that I've never felt in my life before. I just felt so grateful to have actually been born in this country and to live here. And the promise that I made to myself on the plane that night was, it does not matter what I do when I'm here. The only thing that matters is that I live in this country because that is the greatest blessing in my life. Now, I read all the comments yesterday, read all the messages, and first of all, I just wanna say thank you. Really appreciate all the feedback, really appreciate all the people who are genuinely concerned about me, who genuinely care, and who I believe are genuinely just trying to help and give me constructive advice. I really appreciate it. So thank you for that. But I think there's this misconception that at the moment that I'm lost. Like, I'm no lost. If you look behind me right now, right, that is Edinburgh. Now, my favourite city in the world is Edinburgh. My favourite country in the world is Scotland. And I live in this city. I live in my favourite city, which is my favourite country. I'm no lost. <laughs> like, I'm no lost. I try ideas. I try different projects. I, I try different plans. Some of it works, some of it doesn't work. But for me, like... I know my purpose in life. Like, I'm not searching for anything. I was thinking about it last night. I was like, am I searching for something? I like, maybe, maybe everybody see, can see something that I can't see. And it was like, do you know what I think about it? It was like, I'm not lost. Like, I know my purpose. Like, I really know my purpose. My purpose in life is to help other people by sharing my journey. That is it. Like, that is it fundamentally. That is my purpose in life. And I do that by communicating with other people and sharing my experiences and the things I've learned. And I do that in three main ways, through my videos, which I share on social media, through writing, which will come in the form of books or content on my website, or by public speaking, where I will go along to organizations, businesses, conferences, events, schools, colleges, anywhere that will have me on a stage, and I will share my experiences. So that, that's my purpose, like that's my life. And the times where I forget that is when the challenges appear. So like, when I try and run events or when I try to start walking groups and I go away from that purpose, that's when the problems start. But scrapping, walking and talking was like an amazing thing. I think it was seen as a bad thing, like judging by some of the comments. It was an absolutely amazing thing because I realised actually that's no me at my best and me no fulfilling my potential. The thing I'm best at is communicating to other people and inspiring other people through my words, through what I say, what I write. And that's what I'm doing. Like so life's good like i've never been happier seriously I'm, I'm in a new area in my life at the moment where i've never felt happier i've never felt more confident my body's never looked better i've never felt fitter i've never been more excited for the future i've never felt more focused on the projects that i'm currently working on i've got a good routine i've got good structure i've actually got good balance this month i'm just about to celebrate six months sober like i've got I overcame all my bad habits like i've got a good life and I just need people to know that. Like, I appreciate the people who care and are concerned, but I've got a really good life and I'm so grateful for it. And I love what I do. I absolutely love what I do. And every day I get five, 10 messages from people all around the world telling me like, something that you created, Josh, helped me in some way. And to me, that is a blessing. I love it. I love what I do. I'm so grateful for it. And yeah, thank you for the people who got in touch and for all the comments, the constructive, constructive feedback and criticism. And, I love it because it helps me grow and it helps me continue to do what I do. So thank you.